welcome everyone. Um, my name is Lisa Telling, I'm program manager and uh, working very tightly on this project, though I missed the project meeting yesterday. I'm two days late from Vienna where I live. I've, I'm just finalizing my PhD thesis in political science at the University of Vienna and of course all flights were cancelled on Wednesday and I missed the one flight I should have taken on Thursday because I had a problem with a flight from Prague, but you know, I'm here now. So I spent two days on the airport in Prague. It's a nice airport, but not to recommend to stay there for two days. It's a <laughs> migration. Yeah, yes. People at the cafeterias were quite surprised to see me again and again <laughs> and again. Um, so I'm, I'm program manager at the think tank Global Utmani Global Challenge. We have been working for quite a number of years on issues concerning migration policy in, in Europe. Uh, the most um, tangible result of uh, our work until now has been this publication um, that you can find on the table outdoors. Just, just there, you, um, it can also be downloaded. We encourage you to take copies with you and also to, to download the publication and, and spread it further. Uh, why, why, why this, why this publication? Why this concern for migration policies in Europe? Well, the, the starting point is, as always, and I'm sure Charles will give us the latest numbers, is demographics. It's the fact that the European population will be shrinking, that we are already aging, that we are seeing that the uh, share of working age population is decreasing, and, and we can see the challenges that, that this will uh, make to European uh, societies and, and, and the European Union. What we thought with this publication was, and that's why the title as well, is that it's high time we move beyond just demographics. We need to move beyond presenting the numbers and the figures and the tables and discuss how can we uh, confront this, what kind of policies, how can we um, design smart migration and mobility policies on a national level, but also maybe more importantly, how can we do that on a European level. Um, we started this project by looking for experts all around Europe who would be wanting to collaborate on the project. And we told them, you know, the project is about uh, formulating or providing the basis for a common European migration policy. And one of the experts said, oh, I'm not so sure that's the right way. I'm not so sure we could have a common European migration policy. So already, uh, you know, when we started to design this project, we confronted this issue that maybe it's impossible given the, dif the differences between our countries, the differences in ways of organizing labor markets, the different kinds of uh, structures of the population, different traditions and populations of, of immigration and emigration as well, to, to think that we could formulate a common European policy. But it did result in this book, and uh, when we had closed this project, we decided uh, we wanted to continue and maybe um, with a more regional approach. And what would be, be more natural than to start with the Baltic region, with all the states around the Baltic Sea? And that's what this project is all, all about. We've been happy um, to receive funding from the Swedish Institute. Uh, and this funding that allows us to do this seminar and a series of expert seminars in the Baltic states and in Poland in spring. It's a funding uh, that is intended to make a project, to start a larger project. So this is just very much of a, of a start-up conference and a start towards a larger project. Um, that's why we're also very eager here in Stockholm to get all kinds of ideas for issues that we should discuss, for problems that we should uh, try to define and analyze, for experts we should try to invite. So it's really very much of a, of a brainstorming session, you could say. It, we would not have a declaration of Stockholm after this seminar, far from it. We might have a declaration of what issues we need to understand, learn more about, analyze before we can make a, a declaration of the project or a publication of this kind. Um, this seminar will be broadcasted on the net, so that's why we have a camera there and I will encourage uh, Charles who will um, is, uh, make our expert input uh, just now and um, all of the participants in the panel <coughs> to speak into the microphone. This will concern also the audience. 
So even though it's a bit awkward, maybe in such a small room, please, uh, you need to speak into the uh, into the into the mic so the people around uh, the Baltic Sea can follow our discussions and and also participate online. This will also be. Um, the expert seminars we will also put online in this way so that we can encourage more more participation by people who cannot travel to be with us. Um, so I think I'll finish there.